Hello, you lovely lot. It's Gran here with another episode of Building a Zoo on Grimer's Zower Together server. Now then, I'm just taking another trip. I do this every time I come on just to see if there are any new animals donated to the sanctuary. Oh, oh, that looks really nice. Look at that. Wow. Okay. This is getting done. It's getting done. They're moving on with it. Nice. Okay, yeah, as I was saying, because every now and then there's an animal dropped in there that I really, really, really want. So, I'm just going to, it's this way, I'm just going to go over here, avoid the trees, and here we, here we go, can I land, yeah, without smashing my face in the, in the blocks. So, let's have a look and see what's here. Right, uh, bugs. Oh, there's quite a lot of those, but I have got quite a lot of those as well. Nothing in the reptile ones. In this one, nothing. And in the mammals one, there's raccoon and opossums. Um, ocelots. Mm, and, ooh. Oh, a macaw. Oh, a scarlet macaw. That's just what I wanted. Who's left me that? They must have seen my video and saw that I was missing a scarlet macaw. Right then, let's have a look. Oh, look. It's gorgeous. Yep. It's gorgeous. Right, let's give it a name. Well, we'll give it a name tag anyway, and I'm just going to call it Scarlet because... I haven't got any names for the macaws and I'm doing the hornbills next and I don't have any names for the hornbills either so I'm just going to call them their variant and if you come up with any names then I shall change them because the birds are easy to get in and change anyway so scarlet female that's what we've got there oh oh come here come here that's it nice right I'll just give you a little splash of healing there we go let's have a look where's my book Oh, yes. Ten out of ten. Right, let's get you in that exhibit with the others. Now then, they're all quite happy in here. They do get about as well, which is really good. And I think they'll quite enjoy an addition. There we go. Nice. There we go. Oh, you've got a little brother in the plushie. Nice. Okay, right. I'm going to leave you in here. Oh, there's two up there, look. But you can still see them. Right, you go on in, in there a little bit more. Come on, I don't want you escaping as I get out. Are you going to stay there for me? Let's have a look. There we go. Nice! So, we've got four in there, which is what I intended. Nice. And we just need to add it to the sign. Scarlet. Yep, that's all right. Green winged, blue and gold, chestnut fronted and scarlet. Nice. Okay, the other thing I needed to do uh, was to put a sign for the Kakapo. I did forget to do that last week. I did the banded penguins and they've got their names down there. So we need one for the Kakapo. So let me just put one up here. Uh, oh, yes, I, I thought I saw, I'd got some of those. Let me put these on. And an overripe female and a ripe male go in there. So that's everybody labelled. And when we give them names, it'll be easy to change them. Now we're on our penultimate exhibit in this donut. I'll have to stop calling it a donut because I hope it doesn't look like one when we're finished. And we are doing an exhibit for the hornbills today, as you will have guessed from the title. So first things first is I'm going to do the border like I have done with the others. This border here, and we're going to well, we're going to cover that border there with the stairs and the upside down stairs on the upper part of the border. Now, having looked at the different biomes that the hornbills spawn in, I wanted to choose one. Uh, obviously, I can't do all the biomes because there's quite a few hornbills, and I wanted to choose one that at least one of them had spawned in. I didn't want to make this one up, but I wanted to be quite different from all the other ones that I'd done. So, the dry savanna caught my eye. Oh, my goodness, nearly fell in that hole then. Let me just uh, get another one because I'm not going out there. Yes, as I was saying, the dry savannah biomes have the red desert, the red desert dunes and a lush red desert in it. 
and also those Palo Verde trees which I really really like the look of very vibrant ones so this is going to be quite different so let's see how I get on with it so first thing was to find a biome like that and there was one just south of the shopping district so I thought I'd go over and have a look and see what it looked like and here it is it's quite a barren landscape really just a few grasses and those uh, Palo Verde trees which I quite like I think they're quite stunning actually they've got that very white inside um, the trunk yeah very different from the outside mm. oh and it's got that uh, red rock let's go and have a look at that there we go yeah I think we'll have some of this and we'll have some of the terracotta as well and probably some of the red terracotta and quite a few of those Palo Verde trees okay I'm going to start by laying down the floor which will be this terracotta hope I've got enough but uh, I know where there is plenty of it if I haven't before I finish the floor I just want to see how this looks here I mean it looks good out there in the in the in that desert biome but will it look okay in here and I think I'll have red rock mostly on the walls and just mingling some of the terracotta uh, and we'll see how that goes right we're getting it done and we've nearly finished covering the floor oops let's take that off and I've got to have a think about the lighting because you're going to be able to see everything here I think um, the terracotta is not going to hide anything <laughs> so I'm going to have to be quite uh, careful about that there we go so I've got some red terracotta there and the ordinary terracotta I quite like the way that's going actually it's uh, I think it's fitting quite well let's just uh, have a few more of this red rock just coming down from the walls into this bottom bit I think all the way over here I think this will be covered in glass this one this last one but Yeah, yeah, I quite like that. I'll do a few more of those, I think. Now, I want to see how these trees look in here, and I'd like to bone meal a couple of them to see how they fit. I'm hoping I can leave them just naturally grown from... Well, it's not natural if you bone meal them, is it? But you know what I mean. I just want them grown rather than doing custom trees. So, let me just find some... Uh, let me just put some of those in there. Need to find some dirt that's what I need what have I done with me dirt oh it's over there okie dokie let's uh, find some dirt uh, I don't think it needs to be grass in fact there's not much in the way of grass in the um, red desert it's more coarse dirt and I think these are what the Palo Verde trees grow out of. So we'll have one there, one there, one there, and one there. And let's hope they all go backwards, which they probably won't. But we'll see. Now, where's my bone meal? I did have some. There we go. I thought I had some somewhere. I'm just so full. I need to get rid of some stuff. Oh my goodness me. Okay, let's see. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Is, are they all going to be like that? Come on, come on, come on. And that's too close to the block. Oh, that's gone forward as well. That's no good, is it? They're quite big, these trees, aren't they? I hadn't... I'd, yeah. Oh, that's not too bad. It's gone It's gone backwards there. In fact, it's gone back and it's gone front. Okay. I quite like the idea of this being a canopy, actually. That, that looks... I think that might look quite good. And the birds... 
if they don't go above that canopy it will always be in view so that's that might be an idea but these uh, I'm gonna have to get rid of these at the front and try them again and um, the leaves are already despawning so that's no good is it let's uh, I'm too full I'm just too full right so we'll get rid of these on the outside and I think those leaves will continue to despawn and hopefully we'll get a few more saplings from them if they do this will have to come down as well uh, I might make this a smaller one actually let's see what I can do where's the logs gone can't see them now bright green oh there they are okay let's just pop this on there maybe another one there um, can I no let's not uh, let's just bring it up from the floor uh, there we go what does that look like that looks all right uh, yeah they are despawning actually I'm getting saplings all over the place which is good and is that too close I think it might be let's just try it from there uh, can I bring that let me just put that one there oh no I didn't I didn't want to take that one off I want to take the one above it off there we go let's take that one off um, and I think that can go as well can this come straight down there and then maybe is that one go let's have a look what that looks like from the outside oh look at all these saplings them up that's not looking too bad now that's not looking too bad at all I'm gonna try another one um, let me just uh, where? Let me take that one out I think I'll try it back here uh, let me put some dirt in there and right come on now be a good one. Oh, <laughs> that's all mingled in with the other one now. But that canopy is happening, isn't it? Let me just separate this and make it a little bit more, um, yeah. Right, that looks better, I think. Oh, raining sticks. Any more saplings about? No, I think we've picked them all up. That enderman is really annoying me. I'm just filling this in because I want to see what it will look like with a canopy across the whole thing. Oops. Yeah, I think that'd be that'd be quite good because there'll be no mobs spawning on leaves as well so that would be good and then I only have this lower bit to light up on there yeah oh enderman you really annoy me you're really getting in the way just get up there and have a look I need to cover the walls as well with terracotta and the ceiling as well will be terracotta so you're not going to be able to see any stone here can I get up here I do need to go for more terracotta though I'm all out that's better let me have a look yeah yeah I think all terracotta I think that'll do it up here come on Enderman I've had enough of you There we go. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. I, th I quite like the way that's looking. I quite like it. Right, so let's go on and finish those walls. I want to get quite a bit of coarse dirt in here as well now. Because in the desert, there were no grass blocks as such. But there was coarse dirt with grass growing on it. So I'm going to put quite a few of those in here. Just to vary the landscape and I have some 
short grass and I have some long grass so I think I'll put a mix of both in here and there wasn't much in the way of flowers either in fact there were no flowers but there was a, another grass that gave quite a stark contrast so I'll be putting some of that in as well let me see uh, probably a bit more over here I think I don't want it to be too near the front. Although it didn't matter being too near the front, I don't think. There we go. A bit in this corner somewhere. Maybe a bit down there. Uh, some here, I think. Right, what does that look like? Oh, there's none over here. Let me put a bit in this corner as well. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking that's okay. Yes, I think there's enough in there. I think that's okay. I'm just wondering what I should use for this space above the border. I've tried to keep it really plain so it doesn't draw the eye on the other ones. I'm just wondering if what these planks look like. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, they got they turn into birch. No, I'm not a fan of that. I wonder... Let's have a look at one of these. Stripped. Ooh. Oh, I think that might look quite good up there, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that up there. It's quite plain, but I quite like that. I quite like that pattern on there. Oh, I'm about to run out of logs. I'll have to grow a few more trees, I think. Yep. Need a few more for this corner. Let me just see what this looks like. See if I'm on the right track. Go across there. Just reach over to this bit here. Can I get to it? Yep, yep. There we go. Right, let's see what that looks like. It's looking okay, actually. Get these down. Oh, where did I come up? Uh, it was this last one here. There we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that looks fine. That looks good. Need a few more logs, though. few slabs. I'm going to place these. I'm just going to scatter them around the area because I want a little bit more variation than the, the full block. Uh, I might even vary it downwards as well. And uh, I could use a few of these actually and change them into slabs. Not particularly the terracotta, but certainly the rocky stone. Let's have a look. Uh, that was that one. If I put that down there... Yeah, it's a bit of variation, isn't it? I don't... Uh, let me just take out a few more and do that in a few more places. Okay, I've taken a few of those out and just placed slabs on there. And then I could have a few more slabs. Uh, over there. And one there, one down there. There, uh, how does that look? A few more over here, actually, I think. One there, one there, maybe. There we go. I uh, don't know if I like those two next to each other. Let me just move that one over. Uh, maybe one here somewhere? Let's try it there. There we go. Okay. I think that is enough. raised ones there but and that one there okay let's have a look at that yeah I quite like that right let's try some of this in it's called Cochia I think and it goes on the terracotta 
so I'll just, oh, it won't go on the red rock. So just the terracotta. Okay. Oh, I need to sort out lighting. I really do. Yep, yep, I don't want lots of mobs in here, do I? Right, I'm hoping the blooming witch hazels. These don't belong in here, but they do look a little bit like the coarse dirt. So, let's see if we can disguise some of these. Um, maybe put one in there. That's it. The bottom doesn't matter because you're not going to be able to see those. That looks alright. It just looks like a little bit of variation of the coarse dirt, to be honest. So I quite like that. Just saying hello to Mad Bulldog. Right, let's see if we can find a few more places to fit some of these blooming witch hazel leaves in. Another one there, I think. Yeah, I'm going to have to spread them fairly evenly across the back. Another one can go there, I think. And I could even put some grass on top of that. Right. Another one in this corner. There we go. I think that's worked out quite well with that. Take these off, see what it looks like. Oh, I'm full again. Too full. Let me just dump a load of stuff in this dump backpack. Right, let's have a look at that. Hmm. Okay, a lot of stark contrast in there, isn't there? Can I put another one here somewhere? Maybe that one? Yeah. Yeah, I think the lighting's okay in there now, actually. Quite quite pleased with that. Right, let's get some grass in. Yeah, that looks really good. There we go. I think I'll put these on all of the coarse dirt because I think that's what it was like in the uh, desert. Uh, put some taller ones over here, I think. Yeah, that's looking really good. Some over this side now, I think. There we go. Can I fit one under there? Yes, I can. Yeah, yeah, I'm liking that even more now. Right. I think I've probably done enough to that. I think I'll get some glass in now and see what it looks like. Okay. There we go. Oh, that's <laughs> put that slab in the wrong place because the glass is going to go there. Again, I'm not going to have corners touching. I'm going to have all the sides touching so that it's totally secure. I don't want any sneaking out through the corners. Okay. Oh yes, I, I'm, you know, I'm quite liking that. Hmm, I think you'll either love it or hate it, which I don't mind, it's fine. Um, right, well, I need to get up there now and just have a look and see what I need to finish off above that, that canopy. I'm just going to knock out a couple of leaves here and put some scaffolding up so I can go straight up and have a look. Uh, that one, that's this one. There we go. Straight up. Nice. Oh yeah, I had this end to do here. And that should be okay. Um, yeah, with all the leaves up here, nothing should spawn. Oh, I've got a few pillars there. I need to put some leaves on. But apart from that, I think it's going to be okay. Right, I'm back. And I think I'll just burrow into this wall here. And take some from the inside. So it doesn't spoil the outside at all. There we go. And I'll get a bit more grass while I'm here as well. Right, I think that is it for in here. I think I've done everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Right, I think it's time to get the birds in and see what they look like in there. So there were just three I didn't get, but I did get the wrinkled, the wreathed, the trumpeter, the rhinoceros, the yellow build and the red build. So I'm just min missing the Indian, the Palawan and the Jacksons. And I think I will put a few of the enrichment items in here. So I've got a hay browse or a leaf browse, I think these are. 
and I've put a couple of those in. I've got a couple of puzzle feeders and because there are six in here I'm going to put two of these in. So one there and one over there and then I have some perches. And I'm not going to put six perches in here but I'll put I'll put two or three in I think. It's just where to put them. I don't uh, no, it won't, it won't go on there because that's a slab. No, it isn't. It's <laughs> it's not a slab at all, but I don't like that there. Let's just move that out of the way. Uh, maybe I should bring it right forward. Right in front of the, grass, the glass. No, that's the wrong way. Oh dear. Right, let me stand here. That's better. One there, and I think maybe mm, one there. And one over here. I think we'll have that facing that way. Yeah, I think that'll do. That'll be fine. I have a tyre swing. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put this, really. Because, really, the tyre swing needs to swing from the, a log, doesn't it? Let me see. Have I got some rope? Uh, I have some there. So that can come out. And... Let's try it. Um, let's see where I'm going to try this. Let's try it on here. Uh, no, I don't want it that way. I just want it sort of hanging down like a tire. Right, come on. Let's get this off. And um, Oh, this is a bit difficult. Maybe I'm putting too much in here. Oh, let's set it on. No. Um, hmm. Well, let's set it on there. And then add the rope after. Where's my rope gone? There we go. Let's have a look at that. There. Yeah, I quite like that. Can I put another one in? Uh, hmm. I want another log to hang it from. I think I might add one in the canopy. Let me add one right there. Have I got a leaf to anchor this on? There we go. And where's my log? There, and... Let's see. Bit of rope. Now, I hope this hangs properly. There we go. Oh, there's cinnamon. All Christmassy. Eh? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, I think I quite like them placed there, I think. Right, let's get these birds in then. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to dot them about. I'm sure they'll find their own places. So that's the wreathed. And then we've got the wrinkled there. We've got the... Let me just put them down here. Okay, we've got the red build next here. We have the yellow build. And you can go there. And then we've got the rhinoceros just there, and then the trumpeter can go up there. Right, and that's them all signed up. There we go. They're getting about there quite nicely, actually. I quite like the look of that. They're all spread about. They're getting on perches. Look at that one. He's on the um, the tyre. Ah. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I quite like that a lot. They're getting about. And they're interacting with their environment very nicely. I like to see that. There's quite a lot of things in there for them to get about on. And yeah, I quite like that. I think that, that uh, they're quite suited to that. I have used a bit of poetic license with the environment because not all of them are suited to this sort of environment. But it's difficult, isn't it? I could have done... I suppose lots of different exhibits for each of them but mm, I think it is better to put them all together so you can actually compare what they look like yeah I quite like that right then so that is it for this week's episode I think they are quite enjoying their environment and yeah and we just have one more bird to go in here and that is a songbird but the rest of it I think looks really neat the penguins, the bald eagles, the lamagayas, the banded penguins and the kakapos. I 
and now the hornbills and then the macaws over there so yeah the songbirds in this neat little corner here so i'll have to think of what to come up with for that and of course the flamingos down there i love them being down there i'm loving this old build actually i have a lot of work to do on the outside but next week i'm going to do the songbird so take care everybody and i'll see you in the next episode bye bye <laughs>